Okay, so um, this video will show you how to create an uh, invoice inside of your WordPress website. So the first thing that you need to do is to log into the admin dashboard of your uh, WordPress site. All right, and then uh, once you've done that, you're going to head over to the left side corner and then you're going to um, click on ho or hover over the WP invoice and then click add new all right and then we're going to wait while it's loading all right from here you can input the the email address of the client so let's say um, I'm just going to input my email address here. So, okay. And then, um, click create new. Alright. From here, um, you can um, input the um, the name of the invoice. So let's say the name of the invoice is this one, customized cleaning carpet and room cleaning. So you can also add some description here. So let's say uh, add some description or or message here. Okay, and then scroll down. All right, from here, you can add a service. So let's say carpet cleaning service and the quantity and then the price of the service. So let's say a $30. All right, you can add another service. You can uh, add quantity and the amount of the service. All right, sorry about that. So let's say $40. All right scroll down from here you can add another line uh, add another service let's say bathroom cleaning quantity and then the price of the service all right as you can see um it automatically um total the price of all the service that we have listed all right so you don't have to worry about that so scroll up and then from here um there's a bench of um settings on this uh left on this right side of um the invoice form um here you can um schedule the publish you can publish later you can allow partial payment can also accept recur recurring payment and uh, if you're going to click on this toggle advance you can see that you can add a due date let's say we're going to add um, within a week so it will automatically fill in all these uh, details um, for that due date all right all right and then once you're happy with that you can now um and by the way you can also um enter the client details here the company the phone number the address all right uh, before i forgot um you have to set up the um, payment gateway so you have to click on this um, uh, Stripe ac uh, payment accepted and then the currency um, you can set up the currency so by default it is US dollar all right so so all things good all right and then yeah that's it um, once you're happy with all those things you can now um, click save all right and then um, from here you can add a message but we're not going to do that there's a ready-made template that we are 
that we can now already use so click on this drop down icon and then click new invoice it will automatically generate the ready-made template all right so so this is now the message that the client or the customers will receive from their email so by the way you can change all all of this um, you can add some message here you can change anything you want just type in anything that you want to add to the message all right and then yeah uh, this is the unique link that um, of the invoice so so that's it you can now um, send click send notification all right so as you can see the notification message of that uh, invoice we've just created is uh, sent to my email or to the customer's email right here all right so let's see and view the invoice in my email so it's open my email account All right, sorry about. Okay. So as you can see, I've just received the email, the invoice. So I can um, click on this one. All right. All right, so it says, uh, Dear Jerry Calliora, a better sparker sent you the invoice, the amount of $106. If you fail build invoice, you can click on this one, and then it will automatically um, redirect you to the payment or the, to the invoice page. So as you can see, it's a pretty nice invoice right here. So if I will, uh, so the information of, of the invoice is listed in here, and then once the client decided to make a payment you can just click make payment and then you can just uh, fill in all the necessary details the name the, email, the address and all of things that and then the billing information they can input their card number the cbc and then the expiration month and year and then yeah that's it they can just now click on process payment and and that that's basically uh how to set up how to set up the invoice so thanks a lot for watching and bye